When we continue to try to live like it's summer year round, autumn has begun. So before a few of you jump on me and say, it's not autumn yet, fall hasn't arrived yet, in Chinese medicine, the change of seasons don't exactly line up as they normally do in the West. In Chinese medicine, it's more indicative of a change of universal energies than necessarily in terms of weather or climate. So with that in mind, autumn has begun and now it is time to kind of shift how we act or how we behave, how we conduct ourselves. And when we look at Chinese medicine, we really want to look at the seasons and how can we change our behavior appropriately to live in more harmony with this season. And by mirroring or mimicking the season in ourselves, in our lives, uh, also in our food choices, things like that, we naturally, since we are part of nature, will bring in more harmony into our life. So with that, Autumn is related to the meridians of the lung and large intestine. And these really speak to our ability to let go. That breath in, breath out. We take nourishment in and then we discard what we don't need. And this isn't just on a physical level, but also on a mental and spiritual level as well. Autumn is represented by the element of metal. So this kind of provides to you the image of a knife. And so a big kind of theme of the season of autumn is kind of the idea to cut back or to cut out things. So on a physical level, I always say that both spring and fall are good times to kind of declutter and clear your space or your environment. Get rid of what you're not using, whatever's holding you back, you know, that chair that's been sitting unused in the corner for three years that just collects dust, or that table that you stub your foot on every time you walk by. Whatever it is, Autumn is calling us to get rid of it, cut it out, and discard it so you can open up that space for something else that may have a better benefit fit to you. So on a mental level, we really want to consider, you know, what ideas or beliefs or thoughts are holding us back or keeping us from moving on to the next stage. Anything that may keep you kind of in that sense of false nostalgia where you're really longing to go back, but those days are gone and it's really time to move on. You really want to kind of break that kind of connection that is really holding you back and keeping you from moving on. So if you're having a hard time letting things go, this is a great time to really focus on doing some full deep breathing. Physically, the action of being able to take in and then release of inhaling and exhaling helps not only our bodies to calm but also kind of helps stimulate or reminds the, the body and mind to do the same of taking in things and discarding what's no longer necessary. Being able to make that discernment of what is appropriate to let go is a big aspect of autumn or the metal element. And this can be reflected in our emotions and digestion especially. And on the note of cutting things out, it's also a great time to go ahead and Cut out those bad habits, get rid of those bad habits, anything that you've kind of been stuck in or is kind of repetitive. This is a great time since the energy is already in that metal of knife cutting, right? Cutting things out. This is an easy time to kind of use that energy in your advantage, really. It's a great time to kind of dish those things that are really using up your energy and it's not going towards something more beneficial. So autumn and the metal element are represented by the color white or even a metallic silver color. So by wearing these colors or even spending many hours in rooms of these colors also have an effect on supporting your metal element or your lungs and large intestine. Autumn is also represented by the pungent flavor. I will go super in depth on what kind of foods we can be incorporating during the autumn season in my autumn foods video, so make sure that you're subscribed so you can catch that next video. So in autumn, the emotions that come to the forefront are things like grief and sadness. If the lungs or large intestine are really kind of struggling and need more support, you're going to experience more feelings of grief, regret, um, guilt, or that you have been done unfairly or wrong. Ruminating these negative feelings is also indicative that you're really not able to kind of, you know, move on, let go, and forgive and forget. Therefore, it's a great time to really work on trying to make amends or find that peace and forgiveness in order for you to be really truly be able to move on and let go of the past. I recommend that if you feel like this has really been a struggling area for you, to go ahead and seek your local acupuncturist as they can help you kind of release 
or dissolve those energy blockages that are really causing you to be stuck, not allowing you to move on and let go. Being the beginning of autumn, it's really calling us to look at what we've done, but also to go ahead and kind of, you know, take a little look forward as what's to come. What projects have you started this year? What things have you accomplished or what things are still kind of a work in progress? With a forward look at winter to come, we really want to consider wrapping things up or bringing things to more of a completed state. Just like autumn is kind of the time of harvesting, right? We want to eat what we cannot store. And then anything that is ripe and proper for storage, we want to go ahead and tuck those things away. And in that same way, anything that is bruised or damaged or, you know, fruits or veggies that really didn't, you know, maybe turn to the right color or didn't develop properly should be discarded. You, those aren't the items that you actually want to store. Likewise, whatever things that you started this year that didn't really come to fruition or really didn't kind of play out the way you thought they would or they didn't get maybe as much progress as you thought they would, these may be things that you either wanted to completely cut out or maybe kind of put on the back burner for another time because we want to really focus our energy towards going to things that are going to be able to be completed or wrapped up successfully. So just like in winter we need to think about conserving our energy, we also are kind of implementing the idea now. Put the most energy towards what realistically can get accomplished and everything else needs to get cut out focus and wrap things up. When we don't kind of conserve and funnel or direct our energy appropriately like this during this time, it really leads us to squander our energy because we're just doing too much and at the same time we're spending our, spreading ourselves too thin and we're not getting things completed. And this includes working out. Since we want to start considering and working towards conserving our energy for the winter that's to come, Doing crazy workouts right now, especially ones that are causing you to sweat a lot, and really we should probably limit sweating completely. We don't want to break out into uh, major sweating workout or exercises. Sweating during this time is really in Chinese medicine considered harmful. This is a more appropriate time for us to work on more restorative exercises, things that require slower movements, and also, you know, kind of those, those more inward activities or exercises such as stretching, qigong, or other energy practices. So really cutting back on excessive energy expenditure is really critical right now. Exercise wise, but also in the form of being active and being busy and being social and being really productive, you know, whether it's at work or in other areas of your life. When we continue to try to live like it's summer year round by doing the aforementioned activities of being busy and social and productive, these are really young activities. And actually the beginning of autumn marks the transition of it being a yang dominated year, right? Of spring and summer, where we're really kind of, we're going more and more outwards. And now with autumn beginning, we're kind of switching to a more yin time of year where yin will continue to grow. We want to kind of incorporate more and more rest and restoration and this more reflective time. When we continue to do these really young activities year after year after year throughout the yin seasons, it really adds up and takes a toll on us and it leads to deeply rooted or chronic illnesses or dis-ease. So as I said, autumn really marks the beginning of this transition from yang to yin. And since yin is becoming more and more dominant with time, we also want to emulate this as well. This is the energy of nature, this is the you know energy of the universe, and so since we are part of the universe, we are part of nature, right? We want to go with that flow. So this is the part of the year where we kind of take that journey inwards. We should really begin putting our energy and attention towards those more inwards activities of you know, reflecting on your life and resting, not towards being busy and social and productive. We want to really focus and be reminded of what's important, who's important in the big scheme of life and not just, you know, on the kind of excitement and thrill of summer. Are those people that you have around you, are they truly important? Are they truly helping you? Take a look at how your priorities are organized and are you living in alignment with what you're saying your beliefs are? So another suggestion during this time is actually to take less showers. Now I know this may seem counterintuitive in the West because we start thinking about autumn and kids going back to school and getting sick and immune 
immunity and things like this. But there's something in Chinese medicine that they call Wei Qi, which is a protective layer that helps to keep pernicious influences out. In the Western mind, I kind of like to correlate this to the protective layer of oil that the skin maintains for hydration and also as a buffer to keep things like what some would consider germs or bad energy, etc. out. When we're showering once, even twice a day sometimes, we actually remove these helpful oils that help to create a barrier against things that we may not see that can be harmful to us. Now this isn't as harmful in the spring and summer months, however, since we're in autumn and now we're heading towards winter, it's something that we really want to consider cutting back on more and more as the seasons progress in the yin area. Cutting back will ha really help to maintain that safe barrier and, and strengthen our immunity in terms of Chinese medicine. So I have so much more to share with you guys in terms of autumn and what kinds of things we should do, foods we should be incorporating. So make sure you're subscribed in order to catch my next video all about what types of foods we should be incorporating in autumn. I also make these conduct and food videos for every season and there's five of them in Chinese medicine. So make sure you check out those playlists and make sure that you like this video so I can continue putting out Chinese medicine content. Thanks.